This video will introduce you to the operation of the 8879V3 cable and pipe locator. The basic principle of operation. A transmitter applies an electrical current to a buried conductor. Then a receiver is used to detect the electromagnetic field radiating from the underground conductor. To operate the transmitter, first select a method of signal application. There are three methods to apply the locate signal direct connection, coupler induction, and transmitter induction. Direct connection. Direct connection uses the red and black cord to directly conduct the locate frequency to a utility. All frequencies may be used in direct connection. To perform a direct connection, plug the red and black cord into the output jack of the transmitter. Connect the red clip to a conductive part of the target utility. Connect the black clip to an independent ground rod placed at least one meter from the connection point and at a 90 degree angle to the path of the target conductor. Coupler induction. A coupler induces the locate signal onto a target utility without direct connection. Couplers must work on medium to high frequencies. To operate the coupler, simply clamp it around the target utility and allow for the coupler to completely close. Transmitter induction. Transmitter induction uses an internal antenna to broadcast the locate signal to a buried utility. High frequencies should be used for successful transmitter induction. To induce with the transmitter, place the unit on its side and with the long axis in line with the buried utility. Turn the unit on the highest frequency Once the signal application method has been applied, turn the transmitter on. Using the frequency button, select the desired locate frequency. The frequency is displayed in the center of the LCD. Once the desired frequency has been chosen, select a power output level. The power output level is displayed left of the frequency. The resistance of the circuit is displayed at the bottom of the LCD. The transmitter will emit a steady beep indicating signal transmission. Now that the transmitter has applied a signal to the target conductor, we may use the receiver to locate the path of the utility. Turn the receiver on. The software version will briefly be displayed at the top of the LCD. Press the frequency button to select the desired frequency. The selected frequency is displayed at the bottom of the LCD. Press the mode key to select the desired locate mode. Common modes include peak, pinpoint peak, null, and left-right guidance. Once the frequency and mode are selected, adjust the gain until the graph and audio show signal. As the receiver moves closer to the target conductor, the gain may need to be adjusted down. In peak mode, the highest reading of signal occurs above the target. The tone numerics and graph fall off to the side of the target conductor. When the directional arrows lock in at the same point of the maximum signal reading, then the field is free of distortion. If the directional arrows in the peak signal response do not match, then there is distortion and the locate may be inaccurate. In null mode, the signal is at a minimum directly over the target and rises sharply on both sides. Guidance mode offers a pulsing tone on the left side of the target and a continuous tone on the right side. To select the sound locating mode, simply depress the mode key for 5 seconds. Only sound frequencies are available in this mode. 
To exit the mode, simply press the mode key and it will toggle back to the normal line locating modes.